Kerala Blasters against Bengaluru. It does not get bigger than this in terms of a grudge game, a proper intense rivalry. And Bengaluru took control of it very early. Their intentions were clear. They had to match the result in the other game, but they were on the front foot right from the off. That doesn't mean that Kerala didn't have their chances. Saurav made multiple runs down the wings, but as Ishwak Ahmed would say later, uh, the quality in terms of the crossing and shooting, just not up to the mark. But talking about quality, Javi Hernandez showing what he is made of, setting up Roy Krishna on this run, a wonderful first touch, kept chasing it, and then Victor Mongil uh, stabbing it into the back of his own net. The crowd was silenced, and Bengaluru were in control. Roy Krishna, of course, getting his 10th goal of the season across all competitions for Bengaluru. It was then up to Kerala Blasters to come back into this, but they had to defend deep first. This ball in from Harvey, almost finding one of the two centre-backs at the far post. Sachin and Gurpreet were both busy throughout. Vibin testing India's number one. Not just once, but a couple of times. His shooting from range was a constant nuisance. And Diamant Takos as well, going for power from this kind of range, straight to Gurpreet. That attempt was easy. Nishu Kumar's ball in was then just kept in by Gianu. And in it came once again and fell to Nishu, who nearly found at the back of the net, trying to squeeze it past Gurpreet. And then down the wings, when Rahul KP capitalized on Bhutia's mistake, but simply no power on that shot. Then the changes came in, and Hormi Palm down at right back, combining with the other change, Nihal. And the ball bouncing up very kindly for Diamant Takos. He still had a lot to do, using all his neck muscles to take it past Gurpreet and loop it into the back of the net with around 15 odd minutes left. It was one all in a winner takes all situation. However, Round Glass Punjab were winning against Srinidhi in Manjeri, and that meant the Bengaluru could hold on. And hold on, they did. Diamant Takos' last attempt was once again straight at Gurpreet. And Bengaluru had done enough to make it into the Hero Super Cup semi-finals.